G'day guys, Glenn here from jazzpianolessons.tv. Today we're looking at guide tones and how to use them in uh, soloing. Alright, so guide tones, what are they? One, three, five, seven is our major, uh, major chord. Um, guide tone is three and seven. So whether it's three and, you know, flat seven, okay, still the three and the seven are still the guide tones, right? Okay, so it would still be, so the B flat is still the guide tone of C7. C minor seven, the guide tone is still, you know, it's the lower three, right? So whether it's there or there or there, the three and the seven of the chord is your guide tone. And they tell you, they guide our ears, they tell us, you know, whether it's uh, a major or, or a dominant chord or a minor chord. And, and, and our ears can kind of naturally pick this up and that's why we call it the guide tones. Okay. Now we're using it to um, solo, so this is a really simple way to get into soloing. Um, Autumn Leaves, you might know that song, it's a very simple song, a jazz standard, well worth learning if you, if you don't know the song. Okay, so uh, you know, work out what voicings to use and all that kind of stuff. Now when we're looking at soloing, one of the things that we can do is use the, the guide tones to help us to kind of... I guess keep out, keep the listener's ear on track, keep the listener understanding, okay, where are we in the song, uh, what's going on and all that kind of stuff. Now, if you want to start off, this is a good way to practice it, start off with three or seven, that just happens to be the melody, uh, start off with, uh, um, with our three, and then I'm going to go to the seven. And this is this works really well when you're doing a two five one or you know it goes around the cycle of fourths or something like that. We have three of the C going to the seven of the you know the seven of the F chord. Now it's the same note you might have noticed. Then we're going to the three of B flat, which is D. We're going to go to the seven of E flat, which is D, that's the E flat major, right? Then we're going to A minus 7 flat 5, and we're looking at the third, which is, you know, it's a minor chord, so we're using the C. D7 will give us a C as the seventh, and then G minor and B flat, right? So already you can hear kind of the harmonic structure is getting used there. Um, quite well, now ear can kind of hear what's going on. I'm just going to play some chords now. I'll throw in a few bass notes here and there. I'm going to use that, what we just did there, 3, 7, 3, 7, 3, 7, 3, to improvise. 1, a 2, oh, a two, 3, 4. that you know that I'm using other notes as well but I'm just using them as almost like a decoration the guide tones is actually really what's sorting out everything now I can swap that around I'm going to use the the seven which will be you know for for C major it would be B natural but for C minor it's it's the B flat right so I'm going to use the seven and then I'm going to use the three for the F now the three for the F Rubbing off too good there. Uh, the C for the uh, the the third of the F would be the A flat. So I'm going down a semitone. You know the first one, those two stayed the same, and then it went down there. On this occasion, this one's going to go down a semitone, and this will be the same. You know the seventh of B flat is A, uh, and the third of F is is A. Okay, so I've got this one, two, three, four. can use that just to uh, let's add in a few extra notes now 
one of the things that I, I like to show my students is that if you know the guide tones really well, if you ever get into trouble, come back to the guide tones. So I'll, I'll deliberately play notes that I know are outside of the, the core, they're outside of the mode that uh, I should be using it. I'm going to deliberately go outside of that and as soon as I feel like I'm getting into a little bit of trouble, I'm going to head back to the guide tones. And the point of this is to show you how important these guide tones are in helping our ears to understand what's going on and to give us a give our ear a little bit of a, a sense of security. Okay, yeah, the piano player actually knows what he's doing. Alright, one, two, three, four. See, it went a bit outside, but I came back and resolved on the third or the seventh, which is one of the guide tones. Okay, uh, whether you like being quite out outside or, or, or not is up up to you and uh, what you like. Uh, but uh, you'll you'll I don't need to play anywhere near kind of that outside to uh, to be able to use the guide tones. This is just an example, right? So. Tones. I would recommend just learning them really solidly uh, and then trying to play them uh, with a little bit of rhythmic uh, um, uh, interest uh, going on. So, you know, for, for the autumn leaves, you know, just playing the three and the seven and the three and, the, and you know, the seven and the, uh, and the three and just go around that and try and make it sound a little bit interesting. Know what they are and then start to think about, okay, what extra notes can I add in there? And then you might want to think about, okay, if I add in a few licks here and there, um, how's that going to work? And, and you know, how can I resolve it on a, on a three or a seven or something like that? All right, hopefully that helps you. And I will catch you next time on jazzpianolessons.tv.